guys, it's Marianne from Thrive Admin Services with this week's YouTube video for you. This week I am sharing my three top tips for working with PowerPoint um, and they're ways that you can create things that are on brand, um, easy to work with and just allow you to use a little bit more of a design element than perhaps you think your current skills allow. Disclaimer as always, I am working on a desktop version of PowerPoint on a Mac. So some of my buttons may look a little bit different if you are working on the web version or if you are working on a PC. But the functionality that I'm talking about here is available in all of your PowerPoint uh, applications in a Microsoft 365 business subscription. So let's get started. Okay, so my first top tip for working with PowerPoint is to use your slide master to save yourself a whole heap of time and create all of those core elements that every slide needs to have. Now I have done another video about the slide master, so I think that I've covered it generally, but I wanted to just remind you about it. So up at the top, um, we've got uh, view and slide master. Um, and this gives you where you can set up all of those background elements, your logos, your taglines. Um, so for example, I might decide in the master up here, this is where this one is. So I can make this Microsoft 365 and then move that so that it's spaced out a little bit better. Um, I've chosen my styles and my fonts and then down here we've got a heading one, we've got a nice watermark feature. Um, I'm actually going to move that to the other side on this one so you can see that how it makes it look different. Um, I'm going to move it up a little bit so that my it doesn't overshadow this one. Um, and then over here we're keeping these are the standard text options. Um, all the way down. So if I go close master and we now go to this uh, example slide that I've got, this one stays the same. I can't edit this, I can't edit this, I can't edit this. I can only edit the text inside. When I get to my heading you can see this is now over here where I moved it um, and I again I can't edit any of those elements. And then my slides. So when I'm adding a slide, if I want to pop a new slide in after this, these based on my theme, so these ones will all be laid out, ready for me to use. My next tip for working within PowerPoint to give it um, a bit more pizzazz and to pop is to use customised uh, bullets and icons. So if you've worked in Word, uh, you may have discovered these before, but in this slide, for example, where I've got large blocks of text, the bullet points, they're really boring, okay? So there are a couple of things we can do. From your uh, home tab, you can select ones from here, but you can also customize your bullets with emojis. So to recap, if we do that, we're going to the drop down option here and then we go to this option at the bottom. Now, again, I'm working on a Mac on the desktop, so your layout may look different, but you will have an option within your bullets, uh, bullet points and numbering to be able to. So firstly, you can change the color and you can make your bullet points your brand color. So I could make them this color and you'll see it's only affected the one that I've done. So I would need to highlight all of them. Uh, bullets and numbering and then I can change that color. So that's a really simple way that you can reinforce that of course if you were using your own colored fonts as well. The other thing that I can do is I can change this to a picture. So if I click the this one here um, this is my Mac emoji so things that I use all the time so I can make it something like that and you can see it's created it here and I can go okay and suddenly we have these ridiculous looking little sprouts, um, which fits with the Thrive um, branding. The other thing we can do is we can pick a picture. So I can actually literally take this image um, and I can make it my face, which is a bit much even for me. Um, or we can go in, if you've got a graphic element in your, um, in your logo that you wanna use, this is a brilliant way to reinforce your branding. So I am just going to go to my toolkit and my branding 
um, and I'm going to use, I think I've got the solid one, which is always a little bit better. Um, I'll use that and you can see, I mean, it is hard because of the, um, I'm going to zoom it, just bear with me a little bit. It's going to be quite a lot. So you can see potentially there I've got that little, um, if I move this across, you'll see there, you can see I've got that very faint little logo. So depending on what your image is, you can do that as well. I'm just going to zoom that back out because that is a lot in your face. All right. So that's one of the ways you can customize your bullet points to give a bit more of that brand flavor all the way through. And you can do that too. Obviously, I can change this bullet point only. I might say this one, I want it to be that. And it's just that one. So I can customize them per point to make them relevant to whatever each point might be. So the last thing, the last tip that I have for you today is about when you're not confident potentially with setting up and playing around with the layouts of your slides, Microsoft uh, has the solution for you with its design ideas. So basically we take um, a slide with the text. So I've taken, um, this one is pure text, um, quite boring, just using my slide master. And we can select this option up here from the home tab called design ideas. So it's a slide with a little lightning bolt on it. And design ideas uses Microsoft's intelligence system to um, come up with some, some concepts that you might like to use instead. So you can see here, it's given me a few different options of how I can present all of the content that I have on this slide, but it's moving it around and giving me a few different options. So if I was to select this one here, all it does is automatically reformat my text. Um, I can then go, oh, actually, I really like that. This is a smart art, but it's, it's formatted at all for myself. So I can go in and I can then change my fonts and say, oh, no, I want it to be all in that font. I want it all to be that size. And these lines are, I can, I think I can play with them here. So I could change the colors. Um, and I could go back to some of these colors or I can oops, close that button. Um, I can recolor the pictures in the, in the actual graphic, um, or I can choose them from all these different accent options. So I can find something that makes it look much more suitable for what I would do. Once I've started creating things like this, you can always go in and it will generate some different ideas. Um, so you can see now it's moving with some different themes. It's moving them around. It does the same for any of the slides that I'm on. As long as that one's highlighted, it's going to produce. You can see it's looking at some different layout options. Um, I don't think when I'm using pure, yeah, so here with my pure title slide, it's literally just moving that around to show me some different options. But it's a great way for you to get a feel if you've just got text um, and maybe some images or some graphics or some icons on it, it will give you uh, some options that you may not have considered uh, in terms of laying out your content. So there you have it, using uh, the design ideas, creating custom bullet points, and of course, working with your slide master. Three really great ways that you can start improving your PowerPoint presentations and make sure that you stand out from the crowd uh, whenever you are next presenting. If you've enjoyed this video, please let me know. You can pop a comment on the video here in YouTube. You can get in touch with me directly via uh, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, or Pinterest uh, is where you'll find Thrive Admin Services hanging out. And you can also get in touch with me directly via our website, thriveadmin.com. Check out the great range of services and support that we have to help you work smarter with Microsoft 365. And I will see you around. Cheers.